the new deluxe and the lower priced Ford V8 have considerably more leg room, as much as four inches in the sedans, and both have more elbow room and greater seating comfort. The appointments are of the type that appeal to all prospects, that help you sell the car on sight. For 1940, the deluxe Ford has a smart two-tone instrument panel in maroon and rose sand, with two conveniently placed ashtrays, one at each end, and with a new instrument grouping that puts speedometer, gauges, and headlamp beam indicator directly in the driver's line of vision through the new two-spoke steering wheel. The glove compartment has plenty of room and is equipped with a clock on the door. The two-tone harmony of the deluxe instrument panel is carried out in the steering wheel and fittings and continues through a choice of handsome upholstery fabrics that blend with the car's interior fittings. Here's harmony of appointments that sets a new pattern for luxurious interior styling. The instrument panel of the lower priced Ford V8 is newly designed too. This year, every Ford car has a dimming switch for instrument panel lights, a battery condition indicator, a lock for the glove compartment door, and two ashtrays in the instrument panel. Extra value features all. Here's sensational news for you and every motor car prospect. Both the new Deluxe and the lower priced Ford have fingertip gear shift on the steering post at no extra cost. This is one of the many 1940 Ford features with great sales appeal for all and with special significance for women drivers. As Ford engineers have developed it, this type of gear shift is simple, smooth, quiet and easy to operate. Shifting can now be done with the fingertips. Because the gear shift lever is mounted on the steering post, there is more leg room in the front compartment, and the engineering of the new shift brings a new degree of quiet operation. Yes, this new Ford attains a new degree of quiet throughout. Scientific soundproofing, already a Ford feature, has been carried even further this year. For further quiet, both Ford cars now have the blocker type transmission used in the Mercury and the Lincoln Zephyr so perfectly are the gears synchronized that gear shifting is now easier and quieter. Here's another feature that contributes to the built-in quiet of these new Fords, curved disc wheels that reduce tire and road noises and sounds resulting from brake application and also add to beauty. Now an entirely new ventilating system for all 1940 Ford cars, controlled ventilation. The front windows are divided. The forward section not only pivots but tilts as it swings. The rear half of the window rolls down completely, leaving no metal strip to obstruct the driver's vision or to interfere with hand signals. Yes, comfort with a capital C is a mighty important feature of these new Ford cars. You know what Ford triple cushion comfort meant last year. This year it has been developed to an even higher degree. The deep, soft, floating edge seats are of an improved construction. The four double-acting hydraulic shock absorbers are newly designed for 1940 to include a self-sealing packing gland that guards against fluid loss and requires less frequent servicing. And here's another brand new improvement, a ride stabilizer on all 85 horsepower models to give an even smoother ride. The ride stabilizer is a torsion bar that helps keep the car on an even keel under unfavorable driving conditions. Take your prospects out on the highway and let them get the feel of this new Ford ride. And again in 1940, the Ford stabilized chassis gives level starts, level stops, and a level ride through the use of full torque tube drive, transverse springs, front radius rods, and unusually low center of gravity. For 1940, the spring suspension has been improved through the use of a longer front spring on all 85 horsepower Ford models. Both front and rear springs are softer. Demonstrate this new Ford ride to every possible prospect. Look at this new two-way adjustable driver's seat. This seat is now adjustable within a range of four and one-half inches and rises as it slides forward without changing the correct restful angle of the seat back. There's added comfort, too, in the design of the new type resilient front seat backs. They make possible additional inches of leg room without sacrifice of comfort. 
Safety is always an important sales factor. And these 1940 Ford cars give you a chance to present a safety story that can't be beat. For safety at night, new sealed beam headlamps. This new type headlamp that gives 50% greater illumination and permits the driver to see nearly twice as far ahead. And the original efficiency lasts practically for the life of the lamp. Lamp bulb, lens, and reflector are sealed in a single unit so that dust and moisture can't get in to corrode the reflectors. The new lamps have two separate beams, a country beam for the open road and a traffic beam for passing or city driving. The traffic beam, stronger than the previous driving lights, is directed down the side of the road at a sharp angle to the right so that approaching drivers get no glare, yet all objects are clearly revealed. For convenience, the control button has been moved to the left of the clutch pedal. And the headlamp beam indicator is now centered above the instrument group directly in front of the driver. Demonstrate the sealed beam headlamp system at night. Show the greatly improved vision and greater safety these lamps provide. All new Ford cars have separate parking lamps set into the rims of the sealed beam headlamps. For further safety, through better vision, the dual windshield wipers on the 1940 cars are now mounted at the base of the windshield. And for 1940, the big powerful Ford hydraulic brakes have steel drums with cast iron braking services, which are quieter in operation. But now, let's look beneath the hood. Again this year, the V-type eight-cylinder engine that has given dependable, economical performance to more than six million owners. The engine that has made the term V8 synonymous with the Ford name. Plus a new battery of 20% greater capacity. And a higher output generator to meet the demands of the sealed beam headlamps and the many other electric units to be found in these 1940 cars. 